Of course I did. I was one up there making the play. Man, I love it. That's what we need out of you. You read your keys, you read it beautifully, and made the play. I told you, I came here to be a playmaker. And it's a lot easier to do that when you've broken down the film. That's what I like to hear. I know Coach Kuhue will be pleased too. He loves that you're in the film room all the time. That's a sign of commitment. So keep it up, all right? I got you, Coach. I'm all in. Tell me what I gotta do. Pull up in a bucket, cool. One for me and one for you. Yeah, like with the roof. The chain don't cut me loose. Yeah, I'm off the chain, I'm off the noose. Yeah, get them picked off Bentley, white like cotton. Residential, so good, my doors don't gotta lock them. Watch the dirty money with oxy. I miscount cause I'm off a. Yeah, this bigger than a damn proxy. Call my. He said, copy, get that pluck like a boogie. I like riches, hit like nookies. You ain't scared of no, but you scared to put on your hoodie. Man, my like, like Woody. I just scraped it off the top, cut it out the road, out the dirt, out the blood. In the field with the place, John Madden. It's so many giving Sunday magic. Lights came, prime time action. Run it up, touchdown, I'm snapping. In the field with the place, John Madden. Tonight, from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, it's a special primetime edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Tonight we wrap up an intriguing week two with a good Monday night matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over and leading about Charles the man who got the victory in the season opener their fifth year quarterback and he always wanted to start the season with a victory I know that's an obvious statement but I think it's important for him to get the win because let's face it he's not a household name he wasn't the first choice of their fan base but if he wants to win folks over string a few victories together I think that'll do the trick and Sanders with a carry on first down as he picks his way forward for a gain of five. These are his numbers from last week's contest. A boatload of carries, 113 yards and a score. Well, they set a nice tone in week one. He's among the leading rushers in the league. I think that they continue to feed him the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, still very early in the season, obviously, CD, but already key injuries that they've had to deal with. And what's really difficult for a team is to try and maintain their focus when they feel like they've been a little bit snake bitten. It feels like every time they turn around, another injury crops up. How do they manage to hang together? get guys to play a little bit above their heads and make sure that they're still afloat when their starters make it back. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. 
And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Back to throw now on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Our game here, the Vikings and Eagles, the second of two on this Monday night. The Titans and Bills kicked off a little over an hour ago up in Buffalo. And this, our only Monday night doubleheader of the season, but rumor is might have a few more for 2023. The Eagles at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets your point in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a play fake here on first down. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. He'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Watkins. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's their quarterback. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Oh, that's a big-time decision right there to tuck it and go, and he finds his way into the end zone and into preseason. As general manager, why do you believe in this guy? And he talked all about his arm and decision-making, but we certainly saw the decision-making there, maybe an extra dimension that they didn't count on. just about set to go to work on offense. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. 
Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Try it for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. And now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was the Ravens who get the win at home. J.K. Dobbins. Over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. From there, we're off to check out another game. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Matthew Stafford, five touchdown passes, leading his guys to the victory. Finally, let's get right to the center of the U.S. map and check in on the Chiefs at home in Kansas City. And they were winners in that one over the visiting L.A. Chargers. Patrick Mahomes, four touchdown passes in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, each team able to manage just one touchdown apiece. 7-7 is our score. And for the call of the second half, we send it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. 
And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Steps away to his left. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. On third down, he obviously wants to throw the football, but there's nowhere to go with it, so he takes off and goes. And now does he get to the first down marker, he blows right past it and picks up big yardage. Partner, that's a great bit of improvisation. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Defensively, Harrison Phillips there to stop him. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And this is a rarity in the NFL, a 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen, and of course, a special player. They'll look to throw here on first down. He'll and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. It was great just to see Daniil Hunter back on the field after missing all of 2020 with a neck injury. When he's on top of his game, book him for the Pro Bowl, and he'll always be contending for All-Pro status. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. They're going to look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Vikings are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Second down, back to Sanders. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 39. 61 yards on the ground for him so far. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now, 
this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They go play action here on first down. He's going deep for Brown. And got his man complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one good for 37 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. Back to throw now on second and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. He'll drop to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And they move this all the way down to the nine. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Now back to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Daniil Hunter able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Buying time to his left. And he's going to go down again. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. So once again, they dial up the pressure and get home and get a sack. It brings up a third and long, but it's really not an unmakeable one, especially considering they just gave up back-to-back -back sacks. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. So now the Eagles, down by a field goal, a little under a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. He's back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. No time match. You got to go quick here. Play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. Flush to his right, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Daniil Hunter in 
in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Oh, man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for Minnesota, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they will fall to one and one. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Philadelphia, good night, everybody. Field in Landover, Maryland. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. just north of 80,000 and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. 
Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll drop to throw. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. It's a gain of 34. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. The numbers for Sanders last week, 11 carries, 61 yards. As always, priority number one for them is to secure the win this week, but priority number two, this guy right now, who is sixth in the league in rushing. They want to give him that push to get him into the top five. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. The commander's bringing out the nickel package on third down. They'll set up a throw. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Back to throw here. Quick slant here to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it, and they'll start here with a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got his target. That's Zach Paschal. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Seven, seven, our score after one.
So from the 36 now, first and 10. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The Eagles at one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind is certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. 36 yards on the play. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Down to about the 22 here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On play action, they'll throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Now this one complete to Smith. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll look to throw here. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Here's a second and seven. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Their mobile quarterback with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Some good games coming up here in week three, the first weekend of fall officially. And tonight, the Niners and Broncos from Denver. 49er fans are probably saying, wait, I thought we were done with Russell Wilson. No, they'll see him tonight. And then on Monday night, Cowboys and Giants from MetLife Stadium kicking off at 8.15 Eastern. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll look to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. His secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. They'll look to throw again. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. This field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. He's thrown for a touchdown. He also ran for a touchdown, so they have to count for a guy that can do a little bit of both. And because of that, that puts a defense back on its heels because normally you just think, okay, he's going to throw the ball. Let's tee off, put a little extra pressure on him. But when he's able to either escape or run with the ball and design plays, that really changes what you try and do on defense. Yeah, you certainly can't forget about the arm, that's for sure. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll throw now on the final play. And this one is incomplete. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And that one is tied at 13 in the second quarter. From there, we'll make the trip down to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one. Patrick Mahomes killing it. Three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And this one going the visitor's way as the Texans have the lead in that one. Davis Mills, the Stanford man, with two touchdown passes. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. So here are the Eagles to take over. Trying to erase the memory of last week when they dropped one to the Minnesota Vikings. They're in the driver's seat right now with the lead. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll set up to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Smith brings it in, going across the middle. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Here we go. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 more yards there and another first down. In a draft day stunner, A.J. Brown was shipped from Tennessee to Philadelphia. He had appeared to be the long-awaited answer for Tennessee and receiver, and now he can be that same long-awaited answer in Philadelphia. 2,000-yard seasons and 24 touchdowns in his first three years in the league, he gets Philly the type of wide receiver one the team hasn't had in almost a decade. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really... And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent, just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader, making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you judge how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far, they'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always make it. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cole Holcomb, and the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run down. The last drive, he threw the interception, and that led to a field goal to tie this ball game. So all level here now, first and ten. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Out left and hauled in by Ortega Whiteside. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. First down, he'll drop to throw. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Back to throw again. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his way. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. on the keeper there and it is second down yeah that wasn't a big run just a short one there but guess what sometimes you treat it like boxing you throw that jab out there and you throw it again you throw it again then you come with a big punch later maybe they're just trying to set him up here's sanders oh good move and he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at washington's 12 yard line 17 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game here we go third and one Gut check time on both sides. Another run with Sanders. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two yards is the pickup, and it'll be first down, Eagles. Sanders here as they run out of the gun, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They'll run with Sanders. And he can't quite get there, tackled down at the one. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Well, 
it came down to the final play in such a close ball game. What a game it was, but they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way. So for the Eagles, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Washington, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. It ain't easy breaking away or being a great. They slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate. Full from all of the base. My A spoon going big sun.